What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. And it's right down there. Go hit that subscribe right now. I'll wait. I'll wait. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E, K-O-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. And it's time to get this review started. <laughs> This morning, y'all, I just finished this series that's on Netflix called Paranormal. Oh my goodness, I can't say enough good stuff about it. Now, let me warn you first that the series is dubbed. It's a dubbed series. I don't, I'm not sure what language is out. It's, it's um, originally in the form, but this series is based off a book series by, let me, let me read it, Amai Kalad Tofik. <laughs> Did I get that right? It's like an Egyptian book series. So I guess, is it written in Egyptian? I, I don't know, I don't know. We don't know much about that over here. We don't know all the details about languages and countries over in the US. Like I said, the series is dubbed in English. It gives you like these subtitles at the bottom, and but it look, it threw me off. If you turn those subtitles off because they're always different from what they're saying in, in the series. Just like this, the title tells you, it's paranormal. It's about the other entities, you know, mythical, myth, I don't want to say mythical creatures, but like spirits and ghosts and, and the devil himself, Lucifer, like all of that's in there. Even like things that, you know, the tarot card readings and stuff like that. It reminded me a lot of, I don't know if you saw the other things on Netflix, the other kind of thrillers, you know, horror thrillers, suspense thrillers, um, right? The Haunting of House Hill was one. Then they have the new one who was the same guy who made the, the first, uh, the, the, the Haunting of the Blind Manor. So this kind of follows that along with those same lines, you know, with, with the, the, the supernatural stuff and, and the suspense, a little horror thriller. And, and it's right up my alley. Now the main actor in this, his name is Ahmed Amin. He's more known, I heard, to play like comedic roles. I was shocked to hear this because him in this role, it, he was an amazing. I mean, he was so intense. His character's real kind of like has this, you know, depression, always down on himself. I cannot see him otherwise, actually. I'm, I'm looking and watching. This is the first time I've seen him in this paranormal series, and I can't see him in a comedic role, so this is blowing my mind to even hear about that. He plays this character that when he was younger, he saw the spirit, but and, and it was this girl, a little girl, and and she, he fell in love with her. He even told her he loved her, this little girl. And but she was like a spirit in this house, and 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 apparently like she's telling him there's something to do, and and he was following her one night, and he fell off the roof. Oh, he tried to jump and fell off the roof, and the brother caught him and broke his leg. And this just this is just like a tidbit of this stuff. There's so much happening in this series that it will just blow your He's mind. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. So they brought him in from this autopsy and they get this mummy corpse and then they autopsy it and then it releases this, this demon of a thing. I'm telling y'all, so much happens in this series. It will blow your mind. Horror. I wasn't scared, although they had gory and bloody stuff. They did. They had. And then, like I said, with spirits and, and ghosts and even the devil and they have like parts that could scare you. It didn't scare me. And I'm one to not like scary stuff. This is more of the suspense thriller. Like I said, on the lines of like that haunting of the blind man. So tired of these suspense thrillers, series and movies that you watch and, and you're like, okay, okay. But you're calling every shots. You're calling every scene. You're like, oh, this is gonna happen. And this is gonna happen. This series, I was blown away. I was like, what is going on? It was hard for me to follow what was going on. You gotta really pay attention because you can get lost easily in all the things going on around in it. Like I said, one minute they're going in this cave to find this flower to cure this spirit that was unleashed from the from the mummy that they autopsy to the next minute he's at his house, you know, like or his hometown where his brother and all them still, and they still had this haunted house and this girl, like I said, that they were playing hide and seek with, and and he fell in love with the little ghost, like solving that mystery, and then there's other mysteries up in there where people are are dying and seeing things, and and it was, but oh, I don't want to give it away. There's too much to give away. <laughs> there's too much goodness. In all it. I gotta say is. There better be a season two for us to see. Like, like I, I'll even watch it. Listen, I'll even watch it in the non-dub. I heard 
that this man who wrote this series, what's his name again? Ahmed Khalad Tofik. I heard he had like 80 books in this series, like 80. So if y'all don't go in there and get me some of this season two from these books, I'm going to be mad at you, Netflix. I will be mad because the way it ended, I haven't watched a, se a series this good since, well, the, the, the Haunting of Blind Manor. But I, can't, I need more of this kind of stuff. I need more. I want to be, I don't want this predictable stuff. I want to be with my jaw dropping. And this is exactly what it did. I loved it. I want more of it. I thought the acting was incredible. I thought the series was incredible. Everything about it I loved, and let's get more of it. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. If not, go watch it. Go watch it because it's amazing, and come back and tell me, thank you, Amanda. <laughs> all right, y'all. Until next time.